Hi everyone, what is up? I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Instagram has like a new sticker, it's more of like a quiz, but uh, I just want to go ahead and do this just for fun. I want to answer all of the questions that I have provided to people. Of course, they already know the answer, but I wanted to give my reaction to that pretty much. So if you guys do not know what I'm talking about, Instagram has like a new quiz sticker wherein you can customize a question and then you will be providing the answer or something like that. More of like a multiple choice. Talking back, like, talking like back in the day, you know? Okay. So if you guys have not followed me on Instagram yet, I'll make sure that the link of my Instagram will be on my description box. So by the time you watch this video, it's probably still there. So let's go ahead and start. It says, uh, the first question that I made is, guess my height. A, 5'1", B, 4'11", and C, 5'3". Now the correct answer is 4'11". <laughs> I know. I think I've mentioned it more like a million times now that I complain about my height. I would say like, oh, I'm only 4'11", oh, like, and if I don't say it, people will just like randomly ask me like, hey, by the way, what what's your height? <laughs> but I would always tell people back then that my height is 5'1". I know it's bad, but um, you know, it's just like my insecurity back in the day, but um, you know, I, I've just completely forgotten, forgotten about like my height issue. It's not an issue to me anymore, but yeah. I'm 4'11". So, next question is, who is my favorite singer? A. Britney Spears, B. Beyonce, C. Christina Aguilera. Okay, have you guessed? The answer is Britney Spears. Though a lot of people thought that Beyonce is my favorite singer, but it is Britney Spears. If you know me on a personal level, you would notice that most of my playlist is like Britney Spears. Like ever since I was young, you name it, I know the song and the, the lyrics. It is insane. But um, I haven't even watched any of her concert. I know she's having like um, some issues at this time and I wish her well. But yeah, I wish that I can watch her concert in the future in Vegas because I want to watch that and experience it before she retires. So next question that I made is or ask is I can't live without a setting spray B foundation C falsies and D lip plumper so nobody said lip plumper which is absolutely true I don't really care about that setting spray three people said that foundation seven people said that and falsies majority of the people I know chose the option fal falsies which is true i can't live without lashes i feel like if i have lashes i don't need anything at all i feel like i'm all set when i was in college when makeup was like not a thing or not really that allowed because our school was like run by it's more conservative it's, it's a catholic school so just to give you like an idea on what it is it's a catholic school so it's more um you know they have their ways. <laughs> you can apply makeup, I guess, but like not too much. Otherwise, you're going to get dinged for that. So I always get my lashes done, hair ex uh, lash extensions. I always get that done. I think lashes, if you have lashes, then you're good to go. That's the only thing that's important to me, to me because, again, I don't have lashes. Next question is, my favorite food is Japanese food, Persian food, and Mexican food. Now the highest score was actually Japanese food, next is Mexican food, and last is Persian food. Okay, are you ready? Persian food is my favorite. I love kebabs. I can eat it every single day. It's just that it's so hard to make. That's the reason why I haven't even made one until today because I feel like the spices are so hard to find and I don't know, it's just that the spices are just so hard to find. Let me know if there's like an instant Persian kebab that tastes like so legit. But when I was living in the Philippines, I always go to Mr. Kebab. And that to me is like so freaking delicious. I can eat it. I can remember there was like, I had like one birthday that I invited my family to go and eat out. And we ate to this Persian restaurant and I'm the only one that liked it. I don't know. But I, I love it. I really love it. Again, like I can eat it every single day, every freaking meal in the day. I don't care. I just love the basmati rice and everything. I love it. And then, basically I love food in general anyway. So next question that I have provided is, 
What is my biggest fear? I have the option of worms, spiders, mannequin dolls, and D clowns. So let me see here. A lot of people answered spiders. Nobody responded to worms. Um, clowns is the second one, but honestly, if you guys know me, oh, my childhood friend knows this. She knows this very freaking well. Eli, if you're watching, I don't know if you watch YouTube, but she knows this. I'm afraid of mannequin dolls. I'm even afraid of trolls. There was one time that Eli, Eli and I were playing in their house and she locked me in the room and I cried. I just can't take it. Like the first time John Ray took me to San Jose and there was like a porcelain doll in the piano and I'm like, whose doll is that? <laughs> and he said like, oh, it's my mom's. It scared the shit out of me. I don't want to be in the living room. I don't know. I feel like it's so paranoid ever since I watched something about like porcelain dolls that they just open their eyes and just anything about dolls I just don't like. You won't really find any, you know, baby doll here, like baby alive or I just don't like it. I feel like it's creepy when you tilt them down, they like close their eyes. Maybe it's cute for some people and when you tilt them up and like when you make them stand in the I don't know and sometimes like the eyes like go that way like it scares me I can't I can't handle it I'm scared of trolls I'm scared of like you know not really trolls specifically but like just the porcelain dolls it just really creeps me out even though it looks it looks cute for some people it scares the shit out of me I know those those are like expensive too but like I can't I just can't handle it okay next one what would I name a pet turtle a, Green Lantern, B, Pebbles, C, Rainbow, D, Tinkerbell. Now, some people <laughs> picked a Green Lantern, and then some people picked Tinkerbell, and some people picked Rainbow, and yes, I would name a turtle Pebbles. I just think that it's cute, and then I'm pretty sure if I have like a pet turtle, which I have back in the day, I would always put like a lot of Pebbles. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't make sense, but I love, you know, naming animals, like, super cute names. Like, Sparky's name originally is supposed to be Sparkles, but he's a guy, and John Ray said that if you name him Sparkles, you're making him, like, you know, it doesn't sound like a boy or something. So, we just came up with the name Sparky. And then Princess, first time I saw Princess, she's acting like one, so I just named her Princess. And then the next one, what makes me the happiest? So my options are food, and then for B, it's makeup, and C, traveling. Now, if you are going to answer this, what are you going to say? Do I like food? Does, what does make me happy? Food, makeup, or traveling? Nobody answered me correctly except for John Dre, he knows. Like when, he doesn't have an Instagram, so I was like telling him uh, to answer me. So I told him like, what makes me the happiest? Food, makeup, or traveling? And he legit, like straight right away, traveling. And he was like, wow, he knows me so freaking well. You won't believe. I know makeup, makeup is my passion. It definitely does make me happy. But you won't believe the excitement that I feel or happiness I feel if I know that I'm traveling. It's, it's worse. Like, um, it's crazy not like worse in a bad way, but what I'm trying to say is that if I know that we are going somewhere, I can't sleep. It is that bad. <laughs> I literally can't sleep. And I've never had this feeling of happiness when it comes to traveling. If we're going to go to, a, like, if my family and I are going to go to a different country. When I used to live with my parents or when I was in the Philippines, we always travel every freaking year. Um, if I know that we're traveling, I'm telling you, months, I would pick my outfits. I would take a photo of them and put them in the luggage and store it for months. I don't care. I don't, I just, I just want the traveling to like make it like perfect sunblock, um, like my travel size, whatever. I just get so excited. And yes, I can't even sleep knowing that I'm going to be traveling the next day. I can't sleep. So <laughs> I would even invite my sisters like, do you want to sleep? Do you want to, do you want to just want to sleep in the plane? Something like that. <laughs> so yeah. I love traveling. I really do. So right now, the reason why I don't travel as much, I only travel like locally with John Ray, uh, San Francisco, San Francisco back and forth or LA, but um, 
right now because we don't have that time that's the reason why we can't travel and also having dogs restricts you from traveling which sucks because I love my dogs but it's not that you can just leave them like that so that's the only reason we haven't traveled you know through a plane in a very long time that's the only thing that's stopping us so yeah guess my favorite show now my siblings know the answer to this right off the bat like it doesn't really need like thinking option a spongebob option b action league now do you guys know that nickelodeon days back in the day 90s babies give me a like action league now he's super strong it's super do you remember that it's fun and then c untalkative bunny now untalkative bunny is more of like the show that he doesn't really talk but the reactions are just so freaking hilarious now there's a tie between spongebob and untalkative bunny now those people who answered untalkative bunny these are my college friends and i might have told them before like all the time that i really love untalkative bunny it's just so hilarious and i love that cartoons um you may find that on youtube not so certain but yeah go ahead and check it out i just love that it might uh, you know, if you watch it, you're gonna think like, what the heck? You know, but anyway um, Next question when I'm bored, I love to a Put on makeup and take selfies <laughs> B cook and clean C watch TV now nobody answered watch TV because People just probably realize that I don't really like watching TV to me. I mean, I watch it sometimes, but probably like one episode per night. Three episodes, actually three episodes, like probably like the maximum per day. But I don't like watching TV, probably because I'm in YouTube all the time. But like watching TV to me is like, I don't feel productive on that. That grinds my gears. I don't know why, but it just really grinds my gears. Okay. And then majority of the people put in here put makeup on and take selfies so i won't really deny this fact but actually i love right now my preference is different <clears throat> sorry i certainly love cooking and cleaning so a lot of people have answered that do you guys see my eye twitching it's probably tired so a lot of people have answered um put on makeup and take selfies but in reality when I'm bored I really love cleaning um, I think if you go home to a clean house it makes you relax and that's the nice thing about it it's just you know and you see it's just relaxing it's peaceful and it's nice to do you know things what but yeah that's just how I think it is I just really love cleaning though my mom would disagree when she watches this because she's gonna say like well, you guys' room are always dirty and I'm like, no. <laughs> she visited, okay, before when I share my room with my sisters, it's always messy. And I don't think those mess comes from me. It comes from my sister, Melissa. She's just like that, okay? I'm sorry, girl, but I love you, but you're just really messy. You get it together. But me, I, I really love organizing. So when I had my own condo, when my mom visited, everything was just really like squeaky clean. It is really clean. Even my sister Tata can agree to this. So another thing, I'm good at A, swimming, B, darts, and C, calligraphy. It's funny because John Ray actually <laughs> answered calligraphy because he thinks that I have a really good penmanship. But to me, my penmanship is good depending on the pen that I'm using. Am I, am I the only one who feels that way? Because that's how I feel. If I, if, you, if I feel like my pen is good, then my writing is good. And then some people answer darts too. But a lot of people have answered swimming. And ding, ding, ding! That is so true. When I was young, I was actually a varsity on this one. You believe it or not. I, we would swim. like We would compete, really. And I am proud to say that I, when I was young, I actually won some awards, but our maid told me to like, oh, let's go home. So I wasn't able to stay during the awarding ceremony, so I wasn't able to get my medals, which sucks. So I went home and my dad asked, oh, so how's the competition? And our maid is like, oh, she won, but like, 
they won't believe that because I don't have my medal. So that day I was actually really sad and upset. But, you know, you got to home if you need to go home, you know. I think the reason why we went home that early is because we need to prepare, like, dinner or something. Okay. And then another thing. I can't A, dance, B, act, C, sing. Now, some people placed in, chose the option dance. Like, I think this is the only thing that I'm, Okay. I feel like when it comes to cheerleading, I would say that I have something to show for a little bit. But when it comes to hip hop, don't, don't. I look dumb. I look really dumb. And then act. If you guys don't do not know me, I used to do side gigs back then, and it was acting. So I get like small roles. My manager, he was really really good at this, and I feel like if I haven't left. Uh, my career would be really good at this time. But, you know, we have our priorities. I chose Dick over my career. And then sing. I can't sing. I can't sing shit. Now, you won't believe. My mother's side and everybody in their family knows how to sing. Even, you know what, they can sing like professionally, but they just chose to not to compete or not even showcase it. They probably think that like singing beautifully is just natural and it's nothing to like, oh my gosh, literally on my mom's side, everybody can sing. My sisters can sing, but when it comes to me, they request me to sing as a joke. So yeah, that's why I don't enjoy karaoke. I just really don't. Okay, only one of these is true. I have two tattoos. And B, I have a belly ring. Now, a lot of people kind of like already know that I have a belly ring. So yeah, it's, it's not like a secret, but I don't, I only have like one tattoo. It's the Hello Kitty one. Over there. Okay. Moving on to the next question. If it's possible, I want to live in the choices or the options that I have provided is A, Switzerland, B, Korea, C, Japan. Now, a lot of people answer, there's a tie, Switzerland and Japan, and then Korea, only a few. Now, if only everybody speaks English in Japan, I know a lot of people speak English in Japan, but if only there's like a majority, I would definitely live in Japan. I just really love their culture and everything is just so organized and innovative. That's the only, you know, that's the major reason. And they're just so clean. It's just, I, I love it. I feel like I'm in a cartoon world and the food is always fresh. It's, it's just, I love it. I love the culture. I, I love the people. I just, I love it. And then next question, my dream house is a, a mansion, the bigger, the better, B, a home in a jungle, C, a small house, but with very expensive things. I have no idea how people found out that I, I wanted to have just like a small house with very expensive things. I don't know how they knew that because honestly, I never really... I never mentioned this to anybody and look, everybody, almost everybody answered that. I think the only time that I would love to have a mansion if, if it's like, if I'm an octo mom, but like, I love just like a probably like three bedroom, which what I have right now. And I just want everything to be like, for example, like the furniture, my plates are so expensive. My utensils are so expensive. Like my cookware set is expensive. I don't know, I just want it that way. And I feel like I have like a mindset that if my house is tiny, I feel like nobody would give a shit or like have an interest to us. So I wanted to also put the money to like other things, like for example, um, traveling. <laughs> traveling, like what I mentioned, I really love traveling and I want, you know, to put it on other stuff instead of like, if you live in California, you guys already know how ridiculous this is. Like the houses here are insane. You have to be a stripper to make it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but the houses here in California is, is ridiculous. It's very expensive. So I just want to put it out there. So yeah, I want a tiny house and I want everything. I want like a lot of things expensive. So yeah. My favorite eyeshadow palettes. The options that I have provided is Too Faced, Tarte, Urban Decay. 
the answer is there's a tie. There's Urban Decay and there's Too Faced. And John Ray actually answered Urban Decay. And when I said, though, it's actually Too Faced. And he said, like, so you didn't like the vault that I gave you, you piece of shit. And I was like, no, no. I just really love Too Faced eyeshadows because they, they have, like, I don't know. They have, like, a really good formula, in my opinion. Now, this next um, question that I have provided, actually, you may feel to disagree with me or not, but I wanted to show you guys, like, my explanation to, like, the whole thing. So, my next question is, my opinion, they are good at limited edition items. Okay. So, first option, I said NARS. Only one person <laughs> said yes to that. A lot of people answered MAC. And then there's Tarte and Urban Decay. Now, you're probably gonna like agree or disagree with me on this. Like, I totally respect that. But I think when it comes to like limited edition items, I chose Tarte. Just like what my question says, in my, in my opinion, that's what I said. A lot of people chose MAC. They probably think that because I used to work for MAC before. But um, honestly, the reason why I think Tarte has the best limited edition ones is because every time, even if it's a limited edition, the quality is the same. Even though, like, the packaging, hello, that, like, seashell one and, like, the latest one that they have, the packaging is good and the quality is the same. That's pretty much it, okay? Like, I have, like, a Too Faced limited edition every Christmas that they have, like, the houses and all of that. The pigmentation is okay. But when it comes to, like, Tarte, I feel like even though it's limited edition or a collaboration, the eyeshadows always turn out to be, like, great. I feel like it's the exact formula and there is no cost control or whatever. If there's any cost control, I feel like it would be just the packaging and all of that. But the shadows are pretty good. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in a comment box down below because I wanted to know, too. So, the next question that I have is my favorite hair color. I have provided pink, black, blonde, and red. Now, this is funny because I accidentally, when I was browsing through the questions that I did, I actually clicked accidentally blonde, but um, the original answer to this one, I registered the correct answer as red, but I accidentally clicked blonde in the process, so just, you know, just, I know it's confusing, but whatever. So the correct answer is red. A lot of people answered blonde, and four people placed in pink, and uh, one person clicked black. But red is actually my favorite hair color, and the reason why um, you don't see me, I'll probably like place a photo here somewhere when I have like red hair. I love red hair coloring, and because I love poison ivy. She is probably, like, my favorite villain, I must say. Like, I really love her, aside from Lotso from Toy Story. Poison Ivy is just... When I look at her, it's just... It's just sexy. I feel like if she's real... Look at Jessica Rabbit. She has, like, red hair. Isn't she hot? And I feel like if Poison Ivy is real in real life and she asks me out, I, I would definitely go with her and be like, you know, let's... Something like that, but I think that, you know, it's just the reason why I'm not coloring it right now is because my hair is very damaged and red is the most difficult to maintain. But what I'm doing right now is, if you guys notice, I'm just trying to make my hair long and I'm planning in the future to color it more like deep red, so yeah. But when I was in high school though, black is my favorite hair, hair color, but black takes forever to take out from your hair. Okay. So next question is, do I prefer sneakers, flat sandals, or high heels? Now, some people, girl, I don't, sneakers, girl, really, no, I don't, sneakers is like the last resort, like for, for example, if I really, 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 really need to wear sneakers, then I would wear sneakers, but sneakers, not my type. A lot of people answered high heels. This is so true. I love high heels. I, I don't want like kitten heels. I just do kitten heels like probably like two and a half inches if I'm going to work and if I'm going to stand up like the whole day. But I love high heels. If you see my shoe collection, most of them are like really like almost due to the fact that you probably think that I'm stripping or something. But no. <laughs> okay. So my favorite accessory, the choices that I have provided is earrings, necklace, rings, and bracelets. Nobody answered rings, which is 
Um, uh, that's the lowest score, zero, necklace, four, bracelets, one. Uh, most of the people answered earrings. You are correct. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. And if you like these types of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give this a like if you enjoyed it. And I love it. I just feel like we are all in my room just sitting and laughing and talking about life. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.